All right, Oliver and Go, a movie I've never actually seen. His Pikmin attacks count as weapon attacks. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go all in on this. So let's go one weapon attack. Let's go two weapon attack. Let's go a three weapon attack. I want to make him kind of glass cannony as well, so... Once again, Bizarro Buzz Lightyear is back. An aggressive spirit personality is kind of good for this case. I just kept throwing that. Oh, hammer. I'll take hammer, please. There we go. No, oh, he's already at final smash. Not that it matters. <laughs> yeah, if there's one thing I want him to know, it's to throw the Pikmin. So that is going to be our primary mode of attack here. So... This amiibo is going to be trained primarily with the tilt controls. Hold on, I want this. Of course, he's always out of range. I don't have a good grasp of how far I can shoot these guys. Do these guys have different effects? Okay, so yellow seemed to zap him. Blue one, or purple one, he's big, so I assume that means he does, like, a bit more physical damage. But he also doesn't seem to travel this far. He hit me on the way down! Look <laughs> how he stood there and none of my Pikmin hit him. I also gotta remember just to teach him to keep pulling up Pikmin uh, when he runs out. I should have thought about that, because I've mostly been just trying to teach him to... Oh, up also throws a Pikmin, okay. I think I mentioned it earlier, I've never played a Pikmin game. I have... Zero concept of what Pikmin is actually about. I'll take this. Oh, I got the whole thing. I I, I didn't remember picking up the second, first item. I only remember picking up two of the three items. I get so tilted at the towers. And you know, it just sounds like he stubbed his toe when he says Alf's name. I think I've only got one Pikmin. I wish there was like a little indicator that would show me how many of the Pikmin I'm missing. Hold on, I want this. Thank you. Oh, it's Tiki! Please don't actually kill Tiki from being down there. Okay, thank you. I know I've mentioned it many times already, but Tiki's one of my favorite Fire Emblem characters. I love her. Wait, how do I only have the big boy? What, what happened there? I wasn't paying attention. Oh, yeah, oh, crap. crap. I can't... Every time! Every time with these... What happened and why did he die? Okay, he is getting the message of how I want him to attack, so... I can't be mad, but I can be frustrated that he's finally starting to beat my ass. Oh, I guess if he's... That's his own fault. I guess if he's, uh, real close when I do the final smash, then he gets buried? Okay. Legitimately didn't realize that about Olimar's final smash. Oh, I'm missing one guy, aren't I? Oh, I was missing two guys. Yeah, I buried him. Okay, good to know. Oh, yeah, Mr. Okay, crab. I see the crab coming this time. Oh, and there's the third one. Okay. No, I, I hit the thing to turn around! He took a step back and was like, that's good enough. Oh, I need to be teaching him side special too. Side special is where they actually attack. Tilt attack is... Oh, oh I've been doing the wrong move this whole time. Okay. Well, uh, that's awkward. He's still got more time, though. He's still got ten more levels, so... He knows at least to pull out the Pikmin when it is a new stock. So I didn't really have to teach him that, which is good, I suppose. There we are. And now I got him buried. So, yeah, you have to be close to him for him to bury. I thought that was maybe the case. Oh, wait, that's mine. Ow! Surprisingly, he is not trying to- Ow! Go for the items! Ow! Let me have this! There! <laughs> he had the- Okay, so when he was flying there, he just looked like he had like that, uh... What's the kid from The Simpsons, the- uh, I'm in danger! He looked like that kid when he's flying through the window, you know that meme?
Man, Olimar's final smash is actually fairly easy to avoid, I'm noticing. Took me a second to realize who won there. <laughs> I could not tell. Yeah, I know this one's not a Pikmin stage, but it's, I'm gonna say it's close enough. He really does not go for items. Okay, Guile, let's do this. Okay, the forward tilts have become pretty dang powerful, which, again, was the point, I suppose, but still. Oh, he, of course he got an assist trophy, and it's one of the worst ones to go up against. All of his final smash is kind of awful, honestly, because if you're on this kind of a stage, then you can just easily avoid the final smash because it always comes down in the center, and there's always a platform here that he's going to collide with. So if you just stay on the bottom... Oh, my Pikmin grow with me too if I get the mushroom. That's interesting. Oh, I guess you do have some control over the final smash, because I was able to steer it right. Do I have two purple blah? Is it just random? I thought it'd just go in like an order. But I guess I have two purple guys. Okay, come on, my pick boys. Five, Not... Four, Why is it always Exeggutor? Exeggutor is the five, worst one to have in this situation. I don't know if I won that one. Nope, I definitely did not. Alf looks like he is terrified that Oliver and Co. won. Oh my god. That's a that's a huge difference in damage. Okay, but he's level 30 now, so learning is turned off. So I'm starting to have a little bit of a bad feeling about training this guy, because honestly, I could see this going badly for me in a lot of ways. You know what, to make this even worse, why don't I just keep going random? But if I'm going random, I'm giving myself a spirit of some kind. Like, I, I don't care, I need some sort of a boost. And a coke. I was afraid it was going to give me a character that I don't play as often, because let's be honest, there are a lot of characters that I don't play very often. But uh, with it being Zelda, I'm a lot less terrified of him right now. Ooh, I'm getting so much better at Zelda's side special. Alright, and... Oh, the Pikmin going there with him. Okay, yeah, Zelda with the... Zelda with a spirit was a little unnecessarily powerful, I'll admit. Maybe it was a little too early to start playing spirits. Yeah, I want to see if I can reflect a, a Pikmin if he throws one. Oh, he's just trying to bum rush me, which isn't really what I wanted. Okay, I did reflect one. Oh, he threw that blue Pikmin straight to its death. Hold on. Do you hear that? I'll hold it up to the mic. That's my Coke, just bubbling. Now, someone told me recently that uh, Coke has more carbonation and Pepsi has more uh, sugar in it, which 100% I agree. And that's one of the reasons I think I like Coke more than Pepsi, because when I drink Pepsi, it's just really sweet. I'll still drink it if I get it. Of course I will. It's, a, it's soda. It's not that much of a difference. But if you give me a choice between Coke and Pepsi, I'm going to choose Coke. Literally have not played Dark Samus since the uh, Dark Samus episode, but she controls the same as regular Samus, so how hard can it be, really? Why should I worry? Why should I care? I, I mean, I guess I did try to make him a glass cannon, so he's all damage and, like, less defense? I f he feels like he doesn't have less defense, if I'm being perfectly honest. He definitely feels like he has the damage. You're not living this final smash. I'll make sure of it. There you go. Ow, cars. I always forget about cars. It was not my favorite Pixar franchise. I think I've made that joke a couple times now. And I think only one of them that I remember made it into an actual video, but I've definitely made the cars joke several times. Oh, come on. 
I almost had a really cool combo going there. I almost had... Oh, come on. No. Okay, I'm fine. Everything is fine. Okay, I got... I managed to lose with only three points. <gasps> Randomizer really does know me! This is going to be a terrible matchup, but I will... But I have Daisy on my side. Nothing can go wrong. There we go. I have the power of Daisy and anime on my souch. There we go. Got a good couple hits on him. And like that. Let me just grab this and this and this. Okay, now I'm ready. I'm kind of surprised that he stayed stunned that long. Did he? Did, I, I thought I heard the sound. I wasn't actually looking because I was trying to make sure I didn't fall off the edge, but I think he did a perfect shield on, uh, perfect shield parry on the turnip that I sent over there. Wow, oh, it's a red Pikmin on my foot. It hurts. I got an athlete's foot now. It burns. Can Isabel pocket the Pikmin, I wonder? That is an interesting question. That seems a little overpowered, if I'm being honest. But then again, Isabel is also just kind of overpowered in general. I'm still holding true. I'm still going to go random every time. Let the chips fall where they may and give me wolf. Okay. Okay. Not my best, but I can, I can deal with wolf. There we go. I realized he was in perfect range of my final smash. A little on the fringes, but still there enough. Okay, so Fox's side special cuts right through the Pikmin. That's good to know. Oh, I can shoot the Jai guys. I've never tried it, but I guess that doesn't surprise me. I know you can interact with them, but I've never actually just tried to do that, and I've never seen them, like being careened to the side. Can I do it from here, too? This is for science. Yes, I can. Okay, random one more time. Well, not one more time, because he's definitely got a couple more fights in him. Oh, hey, we were just talking about Isabel. Yeah, she can. Huh. Good to know. So, yeah, Isabel wields so much freaking power. That's kind of insane, honestly. Hey, Olimar, I heard you like rockets. I've got a rocket here for you, if you want to just come back over here. A little closer. There it is. Now, I'm spending so much time trying to catch the Pikmin that I'm not fighting particularly well. I don't know if I actually stated this out loud, but the Pikmin do attach to your character and deal a little bit of damage to you over time. I, I'm sure that was fairly obvious, but I don't think I actually said it out loud if there's anybody who doesn't know how uh, Olimar's gimmick works. Oh, I just realized something. Olimar is wearing a red alt, because that means if Olimar somehow... If Olimar wins the uh, final eight matchup of season two, then that means he could potentially fit the theme where and Doom Bell, Dr. Mario, and Sora all have red shirts. Now, Olimar has, like, red spacesuit, so we we gotta keep an eye out for Olimar in that fight. I didn't English particularly well in that uh, statement, but I think the point got across. Okay, probably two more fights with him. We'll get him to level 50. This next fight, we'll probably get him to fi uh, 49, and then I'll have to do one more. Okay, Link. I can work with it. I'm actually kind of struggling a bit as Link. Hold on. Yeah, I'm definitely struggling a bit as Link. Ow, 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 oh, ow, ow, what the? Link's having a very bad day. Uh, uh, like I said, Link's having a very bad day. No! Link is struggling. And by that, I mean I'm struggling as Link. <laughs> that was maybe the sickest Link Final Smash I've ever pulled. Well, Oliver and Co. got to level 50. 
You know what I haven't done in a while? I haven't sent an amiibo on a journey in a while. So I'm gonna do that real quick. Oh, it's my rival, except not actually my rival. That's level seven. That makes me think this is someone who made an amiibo, gave her her spirits off the bat, and then put her to just fight online immediately after. Because when you give an amiibo spirits, typically they linger around level seven once they've had their spirits right off the bat. Oh, we got a lot of characters in here. Hold on. No wonder it lasted a long time. Steve? Of course, there's always a Steve. And Sora, that makes sense. He's still relatively new. Link, of course. And Olimar, naturally. He's our, he's our boy. Olimar's kind of struggling a bit as well. Steve is doing Steve things. That's, that's for sure. He, he is doing Steve things. I keep losing track of where Oliver and company is on screen. I guess I have to watch him and not pay attention to what the other ones are doing. Because right now Link is really going hog wild. Oliver and Co is going after Link there. He's like, I remember fighting this character. I know what to do. Oh, Sora's got a hammer. That's what's going on. Okay. Oliver, watch out! <laughs> You're playing with fire there, Oliver. The free-for-all didn't really go in his favor, but to be fair, he wasn't trained in a free-for-all setting. Okay, it's just that Steve again. Makes sense. Of course it's Steve. It's always Steve. You know, outside of the Alex episode, have I ever played Steve on this series? I don't think I actually have. I don't really play Steve that often. I just had a really dumb idea, and I hope someone else has had this idea before me, because... I can't be the one to have this idea when I don't know how to play piano. But you know how Minecraft music is always like this really chill piano music? Well, wh I really hope that someone out there has sought to take the song Hip To Be Square by Huey Lewis in the News and make like a Minecraft arrangement of Huey Lewis in the News, It's Hip To Be Square. <laughs> like that's such a dumb idea, but I really hope someone else has had it before me. I'm gonna look that up right now. Uh, let's see. Hip. Nope, not hop. Hip to be square. Minecraft. Oh, they've done it on note blocks. Hip to be square. Minecraft tribute. That doesn't seem like it probably is. Has nobody tried to do. Like. A piano arrangement of Hip to Be Square to like have the feel of Minecraft. That is uh, somebody out there. If you're watching this video and you can play the piano, make that happen. It needs to be a thing. Olimar won, by the way. <laughs> it's kind of awkward that in the just regular menu screen, he doesn't actually have his company. But Oliver and company, you did me proud. So I'm. I have high expectations for you going forward, though. You really gotta step up your game if you're gonna do well in the final eight matchup of season two, boy. So yeah, I guess until next time, just remember. Well, why should I worry?